Tesla is one of the biggest companies in the world, and they are becoming one of the most prevalent companies in the world if they aren't already. Have you ever wondered where the magic happens? How are they able to create their groundbreaking products that they claim will change the way how people live their lives? Well, we have a treat for you today, as we will be taking a virtual tour inside the renowned Tesla Gigafactory. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you get updated with our newest content when made available. We present to you a virtual tour inside the Tesla Gigafactory. Origins In 2016, Elon Musk announced that Tesla would be building its first Gigafactory. The term Gigafactory was coined by Musk himself back in 2013. He envisioned the factory to handle the company's production of the Model 3, an electric car made available to the masses. This output would need something similar to all lithium-ion production and one word in one factory. The word comes from giga, which means billions. Giga is also believed to come from the Greek word gigas, which means giant. In short, Musk wanted a factory capable of producing billions of the products he releases as well as being one huge factory. The Gigafactory is intended to cover a whopping 4.9 million square feet of space. This would make it the largest building in the world, meaning that the Gigafactory Tesla has now is still yet to be finished in line with their vision. The first Gigafactory is located in Nevada and is around 30% of the completed version. Tesla still has many years before completing what would be the final version of their factory, but that doesn't mean that they can't already produce the products that have made them and Elon Musk famous. In order to produce those products, they need to produce those lithium-ion batteries, a sustainable energy source which Elon Musk believes is the future for all sustainable energy. Inside the factory It's in this huge complex that Tesla and Panasonic produce battery packs for its energy storage products, other products as well as Musk's brainchild, Tesla's Model 3. The factory is open for visit to any used company or media outlet so Tesla can give information and help people understand the process for building what's inside, as well as their plans for other factories in the future. As quoted by Chris Lister, Vice President for Operations, in an interview with CNBC, he said, In order to transition the world to sustainable energy, we really need to build this big, build this boldly and really build as many battery cells as we possibly could to really accelerate this transition. The acceleration is crucial to Tesla's process. In the United States alone, orders for the Model 3 have significantly outpaced its available output. A part of this could be due to the strain between Tesla and Panasonic's relationship. Musk has claimed that Panasonic haven't been meeting their production goals for battery cell output. This has brought on rumors that production could halt which would delay the batteries needed for production, as well as the overall completion for the factory. Tesla has put these rumors to rest, claiming the factory expansion is very much ongoing. The area of the factory itself is massive. It can house over 33 football fields, and as big as it is now, it will get even better as the expansion progresses over time. The size of the factory is crucial, as Tesla is producing more batteries for electric vehicles than any other place in the planet combined. Without the Gigafactory, production of vehicles would be slim to none. Thankfully for Tesla, even at just a 30% capacity, it's slowly reaching where it wants to be. The factory houses over 7,000 working employees that help produce the 13 million lithium-ion battery cells that are produced per day. Such a huge number, right? That's because over 4,000 battery cells are needed for one Model 3. With this process, over 9,028 pieces are produced per minute. Elon Musk said himself that it's a higher rate than a machine gun can unload bullets. In addition to the 7,000 employees, there are over 700 robots in use in the factory. Can we be surprised at this point, given how ambitious Tesla is? More will probably be employed as they're only up 30% of completion. Once the factory is completed, it's expected to be powered by renewable energy at a 100%. Over 114 megawatts of energy are saved per month by using the LED lights and the waste heat of the machines and robots is also used. The factory is aligned in a north-south manner so that they can use solar energy in the most efficient manner. Over 200,000 solar panels are to be installed on the roof once the factory enters its final stage. And of course, working in the desert of Nevada makes for some humid working conditions. The robots may not mind, but the 7,000 employees are susceptible to the weather. 
That is why a tank containing 10 million gallons of water next to the factory heats up during the day and cools down at night, providing the factory with natural air conditioning. And in some areas of the factory, there are just 100 robots, meaning automation is at work. Automakers are employed at areas that involve a lot of redundancy, meaning productivity is increased by just using these automakers instead of having human workers at the helm. In fact, the 7,000 employees are barely seen across the 5 million square foot property as mostly automation is at work for the key areas of the factory. As the factory nears the end of its final construction, expect more of these automakers to pop up making sure everything works as smoothly as possible. Future Gigafactories As amazing as this Gigafactory is, what makes it even more impressive is that it's not the only one of its kind. There is one Gigafactory in China that will soon be functional in the next couple of months, and Tesla even expects to have four more Gigafactories across the world. There is a Giga Berlin to follow the soon-to-be-functional Giga Shanghai, with the latter expected to produce around 500,000 Model 3 per year once it reaches full capacity. There is a Giga New York which has been producing solar roof tiles and as well as a Giga Central US expected to help support the Eastern North America market. This Giga factory is responsible for producing more Model Y vehicles and as well as the Cybertruck expected to be available in 2021. Giga Asia would be the second Gigafactory in Asia, but the progress on this factory remains vague to say the least. Long story short, the Gigafactory in Nevada is an impressive feat, and on its completion, we will fully reap the benefits that Tesla is counting on. But make no mistake, this isn't the only Gigafactory making waves, and chances are there will be even more in the future. It's up to us to sit back, relax, and watch how Tesla slowly becomes a legitimate building block in our society in the not-so-distant future.